from the roster to the staff, there's just so much to love in Tampa Bay. And I, I think when you look at their lineup, we're going to go through it a little bit here because so many things have to go right. First, they get off to that 13-0 and start. Yeah. They've dealt with some pitching injuries, mm -hmm. too. Big but guys time. step up. But they have two to three guys in their lineup that are going to fight with Aaron Judge and Otani. For the, they're going to get AL MVP votes. Yeah. So it, it's pretty impressive what this team's been able to do. So I get home last night around 7 o'clock. I had the Battle Ed Sheeran concert traffic that There's I didn't really know I was traffic for oh Ed my Sheeran? god yeah. well I get off at 16 W do so I like I Ed Sheeran know. I like Ed Sheeran a lot I love Ed Sheeran yeah he's really good that. and I'm sitting there and then merge call with Capabo comes and he hits me with Rays Rays are the best team although looking at those standings right there don't sleep on the Oakland A's making a run right now with 17 W's but we're gonna give love to the Tampa Bay Rays he wanted to make them a math he wanted to make Kevin Cash a math teacher okay so I struggle with it. math. I did too. Did you struggle with math? No, it was awesome. No, I'm kidding. Of really? Course. Yes, I struggled. Calculus in college, that lost me after a while. But I'm going to take you through and how. What's your favorite theorem? <laughs> Mine is Pythagorean. Pythagorean. A squared plus B squared one, really, that I know. equals C <laughs> E squared. What does pi equal? 3.14579287. You got three, it. Four. All right, seven. let's go. <laughs> Kevin Cash, take me to math class. There he is. He looks like he'd be a nice professor. Where's his You neck? could probably cheat when he yeah, when he turns his back, you could cheat. Let's start basic arithmetic. Okay, two plus two equals four, and we know Shane McClanahan is one of the best starters in the game. We knew that coming into the season. We didn't need to be reminded, but we were. 2023, this guy's 10 and one with a 2.18. He leads MLB with 10 wins. He's got the second lowest DRA in Major League Baseball, Eduardo Rodriguez. He's got the second best whip percentage to Spencer Strider. So he's a guaranteed lock. We're gonna start getting a little tougher. Algebra? We knew what Wander Franco was, but we didn't know if he was going to stay healthy. Well, he's done exactly that. Mm. 299, eight bombs, 32 RBIs, 22 bags, and play with it at shortstop. A 139 weighted runs created plus, and a huge bomb yesterday to seal that series win. So he passes the test without question. We're going to keep getting more and more difficult. This is where math starts to lose you a little bit. Geometry, were you good at that, Robert? No bueno. Um, not really. I heard Randy Arozarena's good at that. Yeah. And it's getting more difficult because we knew Randy Arozarena was coming into this season on the back of an unbelievable WBC. But he has continued <laughs> on. He is an MVP candidate for this team. He's got 12 homers, 44 RBIs, nine bags. He's on pace for 30 bombs, 21 stolen bases, and 105 RBIs. This is where it starts to lose me, and I start getting C's equal degrees. Because we had Yandy Diaz as one of the better hitters on base guys in the American League coming into the season, but we didn't know he was going to find this power cord. 313, 12 homers, 34 RBIs, a 171 weighted runs created plus. And the calculus is where you blow my mind. And this is where Tampa, Eric Neander, and their staff every year find a way to get the unsung guys in the lineup to produce. Isak Paredes, 11 jacks. Josh Lowe, 11 jacks. Siri, 11 jacks. Luke Rayley, 11 jacks. Combined, the four of these guys are Pete Alonzo. Jeez. <laughs> Statistically. Yeah, you're right. Who gets more out of their What's the word I'm looking for? Non-superstar type player than the Tampa Bay Rays. And I didn't even I didn't even do the pitching. That was yeah. all offense after Shane O'Mac. Teams with the most 120 OPS plus hitters or better on in And their 100 line. is considered average. 100 is considered average. You're 20% better. That's the beauty. When I look at this team, it's you look at the the home run leaderboards. I didn't put Harold Ramirez in there. Manny Margot. Everybody adds value. Look at their lineup, and you could grab a guy and say he is elite. Taylor Walls. I didn't know I was getting seven homers, but I knew I was getting elite defense. Siri knew I was getting elite defense. Mm -hmm. Oop, 11 homers. 